Hey folks, Chip Richter coming to you here today with a putting tip. I'm on the uh, 13th hole at the Country Club of Harrisburg. And today we're gonna talk about your putting stroke a little differently than maybe we have in the past. We're gonna talk about the length of the stroke and what it should do. A lot of times I see people who have a stroke that goes short to long, like they're trying to accelerate. And sometimes, unfortunately, I see people who have a long stroke and then they decelerate. And for proper speed control, that's not really what we want. We want to have a stroke that goes back and through the exact same distance. Not only do we want it to do the same distance, we want it to do it at a consistent speed. And I'm going to show you a great drill for how you can do that. And you can do it in the privacy of your own home or on a putting green. Okay. What I've got here is an aluminum yardstick and I've taken duct tape and I've got a white dot in the center. And if I'm going to practice my putting, if I go back to this other white mark, I want to go through to this white mark, back to blue, through to blue. If I only go back to this yellow mark, I want to go through to this yellow mark. I want the putter to swing in a pendulum the same distance back and through, but it's not just that simple to stop right there. I also want it to do it on a certain timing, a certain pace, a certain tempo. Okay, so what is that noise you're hearing now? Well, that noise is my metronome on my phone. It's this free app, download it online and put it on your smartphone and it's set to 78 beats per minute. Most of the PGA Tour has a stroke that averages 78 to 82 beats per PGA and LPGA Tour, 78 to 82 beats per minute. Most of them fall into that category. So what I'm going to try and do is this is my center white mark. I'm going to try and go back and through the same distance and on the same tempo, whether it's short or long. Yes, a short stroke takes the same amount of time as a long stroke, okay? So I'm going to try and be right over this white dot at every click of that metronome. Let's see if I can get it. So you see how I was going right over top of that white dot on every beat of the metronome, somewhere between 78 and 82 beats per minute. I want you to leave this station set up and then I want you to go work on your distance a little bit and then I want you to come back and get back into that timing and tempo and then go work on your distance. You do not want to have a stroke that is different speeds for whether it's short or long. We want the same type pendulum and if you don't want to get one of these rulers, that's fine. Simply put some T's out. I have a yellow T and at five inches on each side a white T, 10 inches a white T and then 15 inches a white T. And I'm going to very simply try and be on the yellow tee at every click of the metronome. So, I had a student this week and he said to me, I was trying to speed his stroke up a little bit, it was long and slow. And he said, you're not telling me you want me to have a fast or a quick stroke, you're telling me you want me to be a little more purposeful. And I said, that's exactly what I want. Thank you, James. So purposeful, I want you to stroke it a little more purposeful. Most of you are not stroking it too quick, you're stroking it too slow. I want you to speed that up in most cases to 78 to 82, try and be over that center dot at every single click and keep the station set up, then go work on your distance putting and then come back to the station. Let that feed into your practice routine and you'll start controlling the distance of your putts way, way better. Hope you enjoyed this week's tip. Check us out on the website, chiprichtergolf.com, Instagram, chiprichtergolf. Have a great week of golf, folks. Talk to you next week.